Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're going to be having a diesel battle. We are comparing the Ram 1500 Eco Diesel to the Chevy 1500 Duramax to figure out which truck maker makes the best diesel. And sorry if some of the shots in this video have some imperfections. It's raining, if you guys can't tell, that's why I have my hood on. Uh, but with that being said, before we dive into the review, as always, a huge shout out and thanks to the Larry Miller Dodge Ram here in Provo, and then the Chevy here in Provo for giving me some time with both of the trucks. Both these trucks are available for sale for the time being, so if you're interested, I'll include a link to both their inventories in the description down below. Definitely check them out. And then on a side note, if you want to save time and money, the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below as well. Let's get into it. So starting under the hood of the Chevy, we have a three liter inline six known as the baby Duramax that goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. Power outputs are 305 horsepower and then 495 pound feet of torque with fuel economy being 22 around town and then 27 on the highway. And then popping over to the Ram, we have the three liter V6 Eco Diesel that goes through an eight speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 21 around town and then 29 on the highway with power outputs being 260 horsepower and then 480 pound feet of torque. So when we add things up with these trucks, the Chevy has more horsepower and more torque compared to the Ram, but the Ram does get slightly better fuel economy on the highway. Now, before we dive deeper into the video, I do want to mention, if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. Now, when it comes to payload capacities, the Chevy has a payload capacity of 1,653 pounds, whereas the Ram has a payload capacity of 1,537 pounds. Now, with the EcoDiesel, your max towing capacity is just under 13,000 pounds. And with the Duramax, your max towing capacity is just over 13,000 pounds. But before we move on to the next feature of this vehicle, we need to talk about today's sponsor, Morgan and Morgan. Now, nobody wants to get into a car accident, an accident at their workplace, or, you know, slip and fall in front of a business, but sometimes it just happens to be a part of life. And I can speak about this from a place of personal experience, because when I was 17 years old, I got in a really bad car accident where my car got totaled out. And because I didn't know anything about insurance companies or getting help by a law firm, I basically got completely screwed in the situation where I got no money for my totaled car and I was left without a vehicle. And this is where Morgan & Morgan can help out. They are America's largest injury law firm with over 100 offices, over 800 lawyers, and over 4,000 case staff that are all ready to help you out. Now, I know at this point you might be thinking, Ben, that sounds really expensive, but here is the deal. All of the court hearings, the research, the negotiation, and more are free unless you win. And so if you're involved in some sort of personal accident, whether it be a slip and fall accident, an accident at your workplace, or maybe a car accident similar to what I was involved in, then you might want to get help from Morgan and Morgan. And don't feel bad that you're going down the route of suing. I know a lot of people might feel guilty about this, but what you have to understand is you're not suing the person or the business. You're suing their insurance company that has billions upon billions of dollars. And so it's more about making sure that you get the compensation that you deserve. So again, if you're injured in an accident, then you can check out Morgan & Morgan at www.forthepeople.com slash Ben Hardy, or you can give them a call at pound 529, which is pound law. I think that's so cool that they got that number reserved. But again, www.forthepeople.com slash Ben Hardy. Let's get back into the review. And finally, let's talk about price. So the EcoDiesel is a $5,500 option on the Ram, whereas the Duramax is a $995 option on the Chevy. So it's quite a bit more affordable to add onto the pickup truck. And with that being said, let's drive both of the trucks to see which diesel performs best. Well, let's quickly talk about visibility here in the Ram before we set off. Here's visibility over the hood, both of the mirrors, and then throughout the rest of the rear. And with that being said, actually, before we set off, safety first, got to get my uh, phone camera pulled out. You guys will understand if you're watching the YouTube shorts, you'll understand. But <laughs> anyways, 
let's set off in the Ram EcoDiesel. Now, I do need to mention, I'm using this driving video for my Ram EcoDiesel 1500 Laramie review, and I'm also using it for my comparison against the Chevy Silverado Duramax. Um, so this is gonna be a double video. First things first, really good torque out of this powertrain. Now this one just has the standard axle ratio, so it's a 3.21. You can get 392 with the EcoDiesel as well. That'll up your towing capacity, by the way. Now we're actually going to put this in four wheel drive auto um, instead of having it in two wheel drive because super wet roads. And so that's gonna be the best thing for us to do for traction. Man, it is really coming down. It's I'm glad that I'm doing this driving comparison video where I, what the heck is this person doing? Gosh, I hate people down in Provo. Anyways, um, I'm glad I'm doing this where I can be inside the vehicles and not uh, have my camera gear destroyed in the rain because that is definitely a big positive. Man, I feel bad for the guy with his shopping bags in the rain. His stuff's gonna be absolutely covered by the time he gets back. And uh, we got lots of traffic. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so we are going to get up and get our acceleration here with the EcoDiesel. <laughs> that that four-wheel drive auto helps out quite a bit. I mean, that was, that was pretty good. Um, we are gonna get a standstill acceleration up here. Uh, so if you guys don't know, Chevy Provo has this secret racetrack, okay? It's not a racetrack. Please don't try this at home. Um, this is, this is uh, just for informational purposes, okay? Just saying. But yeah, that was a pretty good acceleration. I love the suspension on the Ram so much too, by the way. The multi-link, it's such a good setup. Makes it so that this truck feels nice and planted and just um, comfortable over bumps. That's the big thing. I guess we'll see the turning radius of both of the uh, trucks too, right here. And we're not gonna make it, I can already tell. Ah, uh, yeah. Unless we wanna end up in the side of that beautiful Silverado, we are not gonna make it. Okay, so, get this set up here, and this will be behind the scenes for the real action for you guys. Okay, so, we will, Get our zero to 60. I'll give it a little bit of a brake boost here. Ooh! <laughs> okay, well after acceleration, something things up here with the Eco Diesel. Um, Laramie, I think this is a great truck as a luxury truck. Um, super good suspension. You guys can see the four-wheel drive auto just put down the power. Really good torque. There's a little bit of a lag. But once you're up and moving with this thing, man, does it move. Let me know what you guys think about the EcoDiesel. Well, let's talk about visibility here in the Silverado before we set off. Here's your visibility of the hood, both of the mirrors, and throughout the rest of the rear, and well, let's set off, and I'm driving this obviously right after the EcoDiesel. Now, I wanna make sure I do everything the same. So we're in two wheel drive, so I'm gonna put this in four wheel auto as well, just so everything's equal with grip. Um, it is raining today quite a bit, so that four wheel drive auto is obviously gonna help. And, you know, I, again, I, I wanna make things equal with both of the trucks in terms of the acceleration and everything, especially our racetrack acceleration. It's <laughs> so much torque, gosh. Love this new Duramax, that is for sure. Now, obviously this is more of like an engine comparison rather than a truck comparison. But what I do wanna say is it's surprising like how similar the Ram and the Silverado drive. And Silverado obviously has Leaf Springs, Ram has multi-link, so there's a little bit of a difference there with the drive, but it's, it's not as different as you might think initially, which is honestly quite surprising and I will say both of them have equally horrible turning <laughs> radiuses when you're in four-wheel drive auto. That's that's pickup truck life. He just he just got to deal with having a horrible turning radius. Turn up the windshield wipers. Jeez, it is just coming down. This is this is intense, people. Yeah, braking. It's it's crazy how similar these trucks feel. Again, there definitely is some differences, but. Um, I mean, both the diesels, they at low speeds at least, they drive 
not identically, but they drive very similar to each other. And, well, let's get our acceleration here with the Duramax. That's solid. There's not as much of an acceleration difference as I expected given the power figure difference. Like, they, they feel pretty dang matched. Um, I will say, both of them have really good four-wheel drive auto systems, by the way. They both they both put the, down the power really well, but then the steering's not too obnoxious. So that's a big plus. Guess we'll go into the racetrack now and see how that feels. And I guess we'll be able to see <laughs> how much better or worse the uh, turning radius is up here with the truck. I'd have to say, this is probably one of the uh, most exciting review days I have had in a while. Sports cars are fun. Diesel trucks, though, whole nother level. Okay, so I think I'm turning at about the same place. And it's pretty much equal. I think this one might be a little bit tighter than the Rams. It's pretty equal with both of them, honestly. Okay, so we gotta get our phone set up here for our make ourselves YouTube famous with the reels or whatever, or shorts whatever they're called anyways so brake boost again just like the ram a little bit of brake boost Woo! Woo! <laughs> okay so setting things up with this driving comparison with the accelerations and everything all of that fun stuff um they're a lot closer than i expected i thought that the acceleration difference was going to be way more than it actually is with that being said though I feel like there's more turbo lag there than there is here. This, it feels like this is onto the power a little bit quicker. Um, but yeah, once you're up and moving, they're so similar. You know, obviously Ram's getting rid of the EcoDiesel, but like obviously you can still purchase both of these today. I think that it's really gonna come down to which truck you like more. Do you like the Ram or do you like the Silver Automore? Because the engines are both great. Um, but if it's just engine to engine, I, st I still kind of lean more towards the Duramax. Um, I, I, I like the feel of this a little bit more. I like the sound a little bit more, but honestly, I came into this review thinking I was just gonna go like full on Team Duramax, because I've said this is like my favorite diesel powertrain and half-ton pickup truck, but I leave this review confused, <laughs> honestly, because they're, they're both, they're so close. I, I hate to be this person, but I don't think you could go wrong in this situation. And so, yeah, I, I, like, the, I like what I said first, pick the, engine that is attached to the truck that you like the most so if you like the drive and the interior and the features of the ram more eco diesel if you like the drive the interior and the features more of the silverado go silverado let me know which diesel powertrain you would pick